Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Theodore Campbell once again, and I got another video for you guys. Today's video is Go Transit, a MCI 9. Of course, you guys know the MCI 9, 9s by now. Uh, pretty much they've been the last set of buses that came out previously. So a lot of my videos have been the MCI 9s because those are the new releases. But the bus company is Go Transit, which is out of Canada. And a salute to the guy in the comments. I forgot what video it was. He corrected me and I was saying livery. And he said that it's actually pronounced livery. So let me know if that's correct. You know, I don't mind being corrected. Nothing's, you know, that's cool. I don't know everything. But salute to you, whoever that was. I forgot what your name was. But either way, thanks for the input. But the company is Go Transit. Now, they say on Google that it's a division of Metrolix and it's a regional public transportation service serving the greater Toronto and Hamilton area. Now, again, that's Canada. So I've actually been to Canada maybe two or three times as a bus driver. Uh, how about, yeah, I've actually been to Toronto. Yeah, I have, but I haven't been up there much. So I haven't really seen this bus company in person myself. Uh, I've seen a lot of model buses uh, done up for Go Transit. Matter of fact, I believe Awesome Diecast and Iconic Replicas did a Go Transit bus already. And I believe it was the MCI D4505. And they might have done some other ones. I think they even had a, um, a double-decker Go Transit. I'm not sure if Iconic Replicas made that, but I know Awesome Diecast was selling it. But enough about that. Let's get into the actual bus itself. And as usual, I don't I I really rarely have anything bad to say about Iconic Replicas work cuz they do an amazing job. The only discrepancies that I would ever have on any bus that they make is, you know, you would actually have to know the company or maybe even work for the company to see maybe one little small tiny detail that's not right with their bus. But even if it is a detail that's not right, I mean, you still have to salute how accurate their buses are or how close it is, even if it does have a defect. But like I said, I don't know the actual bus in real life, so I have absolutely no reason to not like the bus. Has a destination sign of Union Station. License plates and everything as usual. Show you the top. Let me flip it so you can see the number. 1319. So if you're from Canada or maybe you've been up that way and you know these buses, maybe you can get in the comments and let me know what you know about these buses. Is this bus accurate? From what I see, it looks great. Well, like I said, that'll be a quick video. I don't know much about the company. I guess you guys who watch this, y'all know I, I'm... I'm more long-winded when it's a company that I know in real life or I've actually worked for, but this is a definitely another company I don't know much about. But at least you get to see the actual model or replica bus in a video just in case you decide to get it. So if you do like this video, please like and uh, share. Get up in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you guys next time.